YouTube. How we doing today? Got a fantastic show lined up for y'all today. I'm over here at the Slack Shack. That's right. With Mr. Steven Slack Landry. That's right. Right? He's going to be my guest today, or actually, I'm his guest today That's at right. his place, That's right? Correct. All right. And what we're going to teach you how to do today is cook some oysters. We got a few different ways to uh, show you how to do that. We're gonna start with the the obvious that we do over here in South Louisiana the most is the raw oysters, right? Yeah. So what Mr. Slack's gonna do is show us and your and y'all how to uh, shuck an oyster. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people don't know how to do that. I've done it once. I am nowhere near a pro. Promise to tell you that. But uh, Slack is, and we're gonna show you how to do this. So y'all stay tuned. Get ready. I'm about to make this happen. You ready? I'm ready. All right. All right, Mr. Slack. Are we ready? Let's see what we got right here. I uh, I know you're the man that's shucking oysters. Yes. Well, you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna learn today. Oh, I'm gonna get some too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get you, some. Oh, in there. you'll get you some. Don't worry. All right. Let's so let's, the first let's thing shoot. you want to do is uh, concentrate on the knives. And, uh, okay. The one thing I can tell you is uh, you go and buy your knife. Invest in a good knife. Wood handles. Stay away from. I mean, you want to look for this. I'm not gonna mention the name, but uh, white plastic uh, rubber handles. They're really good. Oh. Okay. Commercial knives. I have three different ones. How I ended up with these three, I don't know, but they're perfect. All right. You see, they have three different profiles. This is wide blade here. That's what I normally show. But then you have these two narrow ones, and when you get a one that don't want to cooperate, this is where you go. I got you. And uh, so what we do, Kobe, we'll start. We're gonna pick us an oyster. All right. Nice. And you always want to clean them. And uh, you have a flat side and a curved side. Okay. You want to hold it in your hand. Gloves are recommended. All right. But not today. So what you want to do is you want to come back in the hinge part of the oyster. And it's not about trying to put the knife in it. What you want to do is you insert it in this hinge. You start twisting a little bit. So you feel some And it's more of a twisting motion. It's popular. Right? And it, the oyster's open. So it's not a big deal. I mean, it's just not... Right, you just but, want to kind of break that seal. Right, break the seal, correct. Yes. But the most important thing is that after you do that, they have a fine sand of black mud in this portion. Right. And the next thing we do is put this knife in this oyster. You don't want to put that. That sand in there with it, that's right. exactly right. So what you do is have a towel or a paper towel, take your knife, and then you go back in that same spot, and you open it some more. Take your knife and then go along the side. Just open it as you go. And he's holding it closed. That's a good sign because he's alive. That's what we want. And then you go along the top of the shell at the bottom. And then the, the, the top of the oyster is removed. Just like that. Yeah, so if, if, if the oyster pops open easy. Throw it away. Throw it away. It's, it's not good, right? Yeah. I'll get or you if, it's, if it's dry, if it doesn't have any moisture in it, throw it away. Don't take a chance. It's not working. Absolutely. And then with very easy, clean your knife again. And you'll see the oyster is going to be secreting this liquid, the liquor. You just want to, all this mud or fine shells. Clean it up. Clean it up like this. And yeah, you don't get that grit in there when you eat exactly, your raw oyster. Exactly. And then you just take your knife and pass underneath the bottom of the shell and release it. And then you shut the oyster. There you go. How about you try one? Okay. I can do that. Perfectly shut. All right. Let's see what we got. You just don't know how, it was, how hard it was not for me to eat that oyster. <laughs> It's okay, that happens. That's not sure what happened. You, that, you see, you got it. Just popped them up right there. Clean Perfect. it up. Perfect. There you go. Turn it the other way. Yeah. Oh, I got him. All right. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna clean it up. You must have been joking with me. You uh, you did this before. <laughs> yeah, not many times, I promise you. Right. There you go. But you didn't cut the bottom, but we'll let you slide off. I did cut it. That's right. Now you see, that's why. Well, you see, that's perfect. And that's a perfectly shucked oyster ready to eat out of the shell. Almost did. Almost did. All right, well, we're going to get busy. We got a lot of oysters shucked. That's correct. All right, let's get with it. All right. <laughs>
right, y'all. We got uh, probably a couple dozen oysters uh, shucked right there. Just Perfectly shucked. I like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I did taste them. They are phenomenal. Um, this is pretty much how we eat them. A, a lot of people or the restaurants that you go to around here, you get them served just like this. People have a little hot sauce, maybe a little Captain Cobra's on top of that. Oh, I like yeah, a little definitely. Captain Cobra's oh, on top like of mine. Captain Cobra too. Right? Uh, or you can just eat them raw, just like we just did right there. So one great way to have oysters is raw. They are yes. fantastic. All right? All right. Uh, the second way we're going to learn how to do some oysters is probably one of my favorite ways is... Char grilled oysters, That's correct. right? I love it. So, Slack, yes. let everybody know what we're going to need to make char grilled oysters. This is my recipe that I've, through the years I've, I really like it versus okay. all the other places. The, the, uh, we're going to need some butter, not margarine. Whole pound, and real butter, right? Well, we're doing a lot, so we're going to have a whole pound. Okay. I'm not real good with measurements. So we're the same gonna, way, so we're just kind of winging it as we that's go. That's correct. Right? So, uh, real butter. So, Lee, Worcestershire sauce, your favorite brand, Louisiana hot sauce. Captain Colby's. So, great the magic happen. That's right. And our garlic. I cannot stress this enough. Two elements of this dish that make it is fresh garlic. I buy the minced garlic in the jar. That's fine. But for this, you really need to. Fresh. Fresh. I like and fresh stuff too. Not finely minced, not rough chopped, just kind of in between. Okay. Like that. And let's stay away from the Parmesan by the spaghetti. I know, right? We're gonna go to your back corner of the store and get the real, you know, good stuff. And then some fresh cracked black pepper and some Cajun powder. Cajun powder, that's spicy that's garlic that's sauce, right? right? You we know, love it. If you go to somebody's house and they get buy things in the gallon, you know it's gotta be good, it's right? Pretty good. Yeah. Or you buy Captain Cobra by the case. Well, yeah. <laughs> All good. So that's that's basically the sauce. Uh, we just put it together and taste it as we go and adjust it as we go. I like it. I'm ready to get cooking. You ready? I'm ready. Let's make it happen. Action. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with our butter right there. Mm -hmm. And if uh, we want to pop some other things in there as we go. All right. We're going to put a little garlic that. we talked about earlier. Yeah, and get some garlic back in there. You know, I can just however much you think you like. Okay. I like a lot. I like a lot, too. No, what's your share? With that Louisiana hot sauce, about that much. Okay. Oh, we did the wish. Captain Colby's. Gotta have right it. Here. Gotta have it. Fresh, fresh black pepper. I can't stress that enough. You have to have it fresh, crap. And fine the stuff. The Cajun power sauce. Oh, oh, look at me now. That's when you know it's good. That's it. And that's about the right amount right All right. Okay. So let that let it melt down. All right. Oh, we want to put a little, little Parmesan cheese in it to thicken it up a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a couple, like that. Okay. And then we just lost our fire. All right. Slack. Yes. Pretty fancy little rig you got right here, man. Well, Not many people have that. Nobody has that, Colby, because this is a prototype that I'm working this about four years in my head trying to put this together. I knew what the top I wanted, but the burner situation, I had to find the right thing, and I finally did. Okay. And, uh, we've been using it a long time. It's poured by it go anywhere it's with it. It's very easy to move, and it does a fantastic job. Probably have to destroy this one. I have to make the next no, one. No, don't destroy it. I'll take well, it. I'll I'm take just it saying. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but it, it works fabulous. And uh, with the lava rocks, you know, the oysters aren't perfect. Right, so sorry. Put them on the grill. They're going to yeah, so kinda... get, put them on here. And we'll show that later. But it'll be obvious when you come and you can adjust them and everything. But, uh, yeah, I like really that. works well. Yeah, this is this is. Uh, I mean, a lot of times if you go to a restaurant, you say they had the grill all kind of yeah. laid out. They Truck cook everything on there right. exactly. Yeah. But uh, to have it in the backyard, yeah. mm, that's pretty rare. Yeah. Why this is cooking and kind of melting down right here? Uh, the reason why I chose Slack to help me make these oysters is uh, he he does a fantastic thing every year. Him and his wife, uh, Miss Carla, and what they do is they do a, a benefit and and they shuck oysters, they cook oysters so many different ways. They probably have about, I don't know, 100, 150 people in the backyard every year. And they do all that to raise money for St. Jude. 
So uh, when I find out things like that, I really want to kind of highlight that. And, and on top of the fact, this orchard is fantastic, right? Uh, I kind of want to highlight that too. So uh, thank you all for what y'all do. Um, how much money y'all raised for St. Jude? Probably close to $100,000. That's fantastic, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So uh, actually next year when we get that started again, when they do that, yes. when, when they get their... Uh, a benefit going again. I do want to come back. I may do a live show, but we're going to figure something out. Oh, yeah. I do want to be part of that. I want to be part of that. Yeah. So, uh, again, thank y'all for what y'all do. And uh, it's our pleasure. You know, we give half people come because they paid almost a fifteen thousand dollars to come here for that event. You know, and right, absolutely. It all goes to good cause. So, does. absolutely. So, thank y'all again. All right, Michelle, how we're going to start this thing off right there? Yeah, this is a little extra to the uh. Apparatus I found at the building was this salad, man. You know, uh, a cheese melt? You know, yeah, yeah, water. yeah. So my good friend Dean and his wife Beverly was good enough to go to Luxurious French Bread at Generate. My good friend Matt, this is straight from the bakery. Not no fresh. plastic wrap. That's No, that's straight French bread. That's what I like, too. That's what we're going to put a little, a little sauce, sauce on there. Sauce on there. But you well, have you to remember COVID to take it out. There's a side effect of COVID. But you put more in that. All right. Put it on there. Or maybe our studio audience might have to take the bread out. You see it burn. <laughs> and then once again, we're going to top this off with some of that finely grated real Parmesan cheese. You know what I learned, Slack? What's that? You can't put your hand too, too no, it's, over it's, the thing about it. It's, it's hot. hot. <laughs> well, I have to give me a, a sign or something. This is hot. Caution hot. All right. All right. So we're going to just do a little bit of good stuff. All right. Just slide it on under there. All right. All right. All right. All right, Joe. Our bread's ready. It didn't burn. It didn't burn. We stayed on top of that today. Right. It's the time when you drink your beer, then. Oh, you kind of forget. Man, so we didn't forget today. Look how beautiful that is, folks. And that garden show them right there. Let's get a shot of this right here. Yeah, I love it. Oh, man. Are you ready to grill some arches? I'm ready to grill Where some arches. Up? Let's make that happen. It's your day today. You're getting certified. All right. All right. All right, everybody. What we're going to do right here is I want to sauce up these arches right mm -hmm. quick, and then we're going to top on a little bit of that uh, Parmesan cheese. All right, it's very simple, not very hard to do. Nope. We're just gonna dust them. That's right. You know, Kobe, some people would say, put that on a cracker, but the only thing we put on a cracker over here is hog cheese. You know? <laughs> That's right. We don't need no crackers to juice our stuff up. You know? Man, you might have did this before. I eat them before, I can Ooh. tell you that. <laughs> I said, I just, you know, I, don't, I was kind of leery about showing the whole wide, worldwide web about my <laughs> deal right here, but. Somebody go oh, pat that well, thing and start doing oh, it. Charge yeah. me. They're going to charge me. That's the problem. Honestly. Oh, yeah. We'll be all right. Let them come. Or is uh, sometimes a bigger one you have a lot of liquid in it. And the juice to come out and of it. You, what you want to do is drain it off as you cook because it'll just take longer to get, to get right, you know. What you want is uh, get a little browning, browning on your butter. All right. How long do you usually take to cook? It just depends on the size. Okay. Uh, on the average? Five, five minutes, five, six minutes. Okay. Depending on the cold, I did, we had these sitting out for a little while, so they run temperature, so they, they ought to be they ought to cook pretty, pretty fast. Good. I got you. I really don't like to run it on turbo because I have melted it before. Right. And uh, it's not good. 
Okay, no, we good with that. I like it to taste good. I don't worry about cooking it fast. I don't worry about but you eating have, it. You have to hear, the, you know, the sizzle is all, what it's all about, you know. We got a little sizzle working right here. Oh, yeah. Come on in here, get a little closer. Hear that sizzle. You hear that sizzle? Slack, like, let them know when they're gonna be ready, babe. So what? I can see you got, I get, you got a few of them ready and you got a few of them that's getting ready right here. And right. you got one that's, that's cooking real good right there. And it all depends on the size, the thickness of the shell. Sure. And uh, where the heat's at this first on the, on the grill. But like, see this one is perfect. Right. I mean, I think it hurts. So we just, you know, get a little, a lot of moisture in the bigger ones. So we just drain them out. And, as they go, let them cook down, yep, right? Let them brown a little bit. And that one's ready. And we just move, you know, as you go, you just move them around. Oh, now you know they're cooking. That's right. Come on, get a close in shot right here. I want to show y'all something. You get that butter drip off. And That's right. So y'all get a good understanding right here. So when this juice kind of gets out of there, right? You want to have a little bit of the juice left in there, some of the uh, right. butter and, and the sauce that we put in there. And you want to char just a little bit, right? Right. You don't want it all burn up, but you want them cooked just enough. Right where that oyster is just kind of sticking out right. the top, right? Especially with the big ones. If you leave that big one in there, he'll just boil in his own juice till he That's right. drinks to nothing. Right. We don't want that. So you see right there how this washer is sticking up by itself? Yeah. See? That's it. She's ready to go. Almost. That's mine. That's yours. You want That's the big one? No, no, no. It's, it's close, but this one will be better. Hey, I like Captain Cobra's Cajun cooking when somebody else is doing the cooking. I'm going to tell you that. Well, you get ready, easy on me, man. You get ready to do the next batch. I'm just, you know, <laughs> All right, I got it. I can handle know, it. I'm going to need some backup one day, you know. I, I got it. You know, and our buddy, you know, our buddy Seth, I don't know, man. I, you know, I'm just, we, you know, I, I'm just, I don't know. Yeah. You know. All right, let's see what we got. I, you know, I on, got man. you, bitch. You're a fireman. That's all right. Come on, man. I can put them on. I know you, you can handle that fire with your hands, but for the, for the public, the general public. Safety first, right? That's right. Uh, right. Like right. See this right here? Oh. See how that juice is out of there and that oyster's popping up like that? That's when you know they're perfect. That's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. I love it. Oh. Who was the first person who ever decided to eat that thing? I know, I'm right? I'm so glad they did, though. I'm with you. All right, everybody. Hey, get a good shot in right here. This is what char broad oysters look like. At the Slack Shack, anyway. At the Slack Shack, baby. Listen, you honestly, you if probably, you don't know, they are fantastic. They are absolutely phenomenal, right? You, you won't find those, you know, on the street. No, because this is our own secret. Right. His, this is his secret recipe that he's sharing with y'all. So y'all to be That's honored right. and privileged to be able to I do that. Hold nothing back. All right, next, next order of business right here, we're going to do a little fly, uh, fried oysters, right. right? All right, and all you're going to need for that is some already shucked oysters. All right. Fish fry and Captain Cobra special. And the trick to this is don't do more than that. That's right. So all we're gonna do is, we have our oysters drained in the collar. And we're gonna season them heavily. Like that. Like Toss it. them around. And that's all you need to do. There's no other things you need to do. And Kobe's gonna put them in there. We're gonna shake them up. I like to spread them out a little bit where there they don't go. get kicked up on each other. There you go. Mm -hmm. Spread the love. That's what I'm talking about. All right. You gotta make sure this is sealed. We talked about that earlier. That's right. We don't want it everywhere, right? <laughs> no, no, we don't want it everywhere. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit about two minutes just to let them set. Absorb that. I agree with you. And we're gonna heat the grease up, and when we come back, you're gonna hear another sizzle. How about that? Stay tuned. All right, everybody, listen. We got our oysters all battered up. We got our grease hot. Ain't nothing better than fried oysters to me. We're gonna drop that in here, get oh. that cooking. It don't take very long, right? Not at all. That's the key to it. The longer you cook an oyster, the more moisture goes up. He's 90% moisture, so That's you right. can cook him, and he gonna turn into a little rock. Exactly so right. So you just watch him carefully. I'm gonna get a shot in there. Drop him in, not grease.
should take about a minute and a half, two minutes before they get right. The key is to fry it, keep your oil as hot as you can. Like a restaurant, that's why it's hard to cook oysters at home if you don't have a commercial. That's exactly right. That's hard to keep that, that heat steady. You, can't, you have to keep the heat steady or else you're going to get real double. You have that problem? I have that Minute and a half, maybe two, two minutes, minutes, maybe tops. Okay. Beautiful. That's how we make it. That's right. All right. There we go. All right, everybody. <clears throat> now you saw that we fried the oyster, so we are gonna have just a plain fried oyster. But what we're gonna do is kind of take that to the next level. You know, Captain Corp, we gotta take it to the next level, right? So what we're gonna do is- And you're in the right place. That's right, the Slack Shack, right? right that's that's right. how we do it over here. Right. We're gonna take a little bit of this uh, Red Hot some wing sauce, wing sauce, right? We're gonna dump a little bit in here. Yeah. All right. How did you like it? Well, lightly tossed. Yeah, you gotta be a little delicate with that. Mm -hmm. Right? Put it on the platter. And get the green meat, that's the best part. That's the best part. Right. You know about the green meat? I love the green meat. All right. All right. Then we're gonna We're gonna top it off with this uh so goat cheese. Don't be afraid of it. Or get some queso fresco, whatever you like. Okay. It's just light flavor, just to cut the acid in the wing sauce. It's a very nice job. Acid boy. We we getting right. Man, I learned a lot. You watch the PBS? And we're gonna top it with a little, top little, little green on it. Man, that's some fine vittles with that cool. I didn't mean you go take that in the back of the Yeah. Get a close up with that. Y'all. I mean, y'all liking this video right here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's the matter with y'all. Y'all must just not like oysters. I didn't good. All right, Slay. You got enough to eat or we're we gonna eat some more, huh? Oh, we're gonna eat in just a minute. We'll but uh beside being a master oyster cook oh. and a great South Louisiana cook on top of all, all right. of that. You do for living. Uh, I work at a and they factory sugar. Make we make sugar. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's thick here. Sugar cane farm is big around that's in right. South Louisiana, that's especially right. not there. Louisiana. Proud to proud to be part of that. Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, tradition. I grew up on a sugar cane farm when I was okay. nine years old. We started working and uh, went through the whole work in the farm. Went to the fabrication company, build equipment, and it just seemed the right place to go to end up making actual sugar. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Not, not many people know how what, what kind of process that is, but right. it's, it's a pretty big process. It is. Like, uh, Mr. Dean, uh, we make 5.2 million pounds a day. Okay. Every I didn't day. think it was that big. That's, that's pretty amazing. For 100 days. So we do the math. So we make a lot of sugar. Well, not only do you make sugar, I see you make some pretty nice yeah, uh, so like artwork right here. In my spare time, with little I have, but uh, do some cutting boards, uh, serving trays. And this is my latest creation for my wife. Uh, oh, yeah. Anniversary. Show them. Copper rules. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I like that. Yeah. Everybody gets mad at me because, uh, you know, you got to stop doing that because you turn Making them look bad. Making them look bad, you know, but <laughs> I just something I believe. like it. It's just something I can do in my spare time. And, you, and well, I, I don't need a lot of stuff to charity. We do a lot of offers and stuff. And listen, again, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't know. Uh, the first giveaway I ever did, uh, I had some spoons and a push-pull thing, and uh, he actually made that, never saw me, never met me, yeah. uh, didn't know me from Adam, and just gave me some spoons right. and some things to donate, and uh, I do appreciate that. It all comes back around, Kobe. Absolutely, just, absolutely you give right. Ball. You give it ball. Well, you ready to eat? I'm ready. Let's I'm over. It. Let's make it happen. All right. I don't know about y'all. I'm ready to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I've been snacking all day. I ain't gonna lie. Well, I'm ready to eat. All right, get a couple raw ones. The big jaw ball. I love that. That one was mine, but you can have it. Because you cooked them. No, you cooked them. Come on, let's pray. Listen, y'all need to try this buffalo arch. It's the first time I ever had it. Oh my God. Y'all don't even know. Captain Kobe Fry right here, huh? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Better get that goat cheese. Yeah. Gotta have, gotta have. I need a 
bring it to you. To be real. All right. Okay. All right, everybody. Listen, it's eating time. If y'all don't know, I had tasted everything already. It is absolutely phenomenal. This meal is fantastic. If you don't, if you don't cook this, shame on you. I'm telling you, if you like oysters or even just kind of like oysters, you gotta try this. You gotta cook this. You gotta do this. Man, it's unbelievable. It's nice. It's fantastic job. So listen, I really want to thank Slack for doing a great job today. I want to uh, thank Sergeant Major Como for shucking some oysters with uh, with us out here today. I want to thank Mr. Johnny and Mr. LeBlanc for coming out here today and, and helping with everything, doing everything. Uh, man, y'all please enjoy. Let me know how it tastes. What do you think, Sergeant Major? Oh, it's awesome. It's good, huh? That's always good. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I love it. So, mm -hmm. hey, listen, try it. Cook it. Y'all keep cooking, and we'll see y'all in the kitchen. Thank you.